Well, hello there and good day. Thank you for joining us. I am Frost PDP, and today it is my privilege and honor to introduce another episode of our Shadowrun tabletop role playing campaign. Cast, say hello, everyone. What's up, hello, everyone? Hi, everyone? I knew somebody was going to say hello, everyone. Straight up copy. All right. So we've made a few small changes, namely we're no longer using Roll20 for voice chat. I know it's been so long, and we're using Discord instead, which Discord is a thing that exists, and I have one. You should check it out. Links are in the description. And, um, yeah, so the other change we made is that we've decided that this week, which is September 8th, and next week, which is... Since my calendar loads up, September 15th will be the final two weeks for this campaign, or at least for this season of this campaign. Uh, it's been a fantastic time, and I want to thank all of you so much for joining us in this adventure. But, you know, real life calls, people have work they've got to get done with, so we're going to take a pause or a little hiatus for a few weeks. Uh, sorry, Pedro. Sorry, Pedro. Uh,. So, with that in mind, uh, I want everyone to go around and introduce themselves. Solstice, you're uh, first on my left, or on my right, on the bottom left-hand side of the screen. So, introduce yourself. Yeah, well, what's up? I'm the Solstice with the Molstice. Uh, I'm just here streaming, trying to uh, trying to get my face out there for people. Um, don't really have much to offer, except I'm here for your color commentary and naysaying. Thank you. All right, Veracity Trigger, you're up. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the stream here. We're going to be doing some role-playing here. Um, I do a lot of strategy games on my channel. I haven't really... It's the first time I've done something like this, so at least for streaming and all that. But, um, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I don't know what else to say. I guess we'll <laughs> just kind of do a couple more of these and then done for a bit. But, uh, yeah. Alrighty. Jameson, you're up. I forgot to hashtag bear life when I put out a tweet. No. Come on, man. Hashtag bear life always. What's up, everybody? I'm Jameson. I, uh, the friendly neighborhood bear of the group and, uh, tank extraordinaire. So, well, just here for some fun and, uh, we all enjoy it. All right, and last but never least, Ava, you're up. A Ava. Do any plugs or anything, ever. You never do any plugs, that's true. But I'm still going to let you introduce yourself. I did, I said it. Hey. Oh, I didn't hear you. Get some Q-tips. I already did that. <laughs> All right, so uh, this run was inspired in part by a song by the band The Birthday Massacre called Divide. I'm going to play it and totally void any potential future winnings. I'm also going to post it in Twitch chat and in Roll20 chat so people who want to listen along can feel free to listen along. Uh, it's going to be on Super Quiet. But it's a nice little song. It's a good little welcome to what we're doing. And uh, with that in mind, Solstice, your character is Tony. You're up. What have you done for the last, let's say, it's going to be a week in role-playing time? Tony has been still scouring the lands, looking around here and there. To see if he can spot any kind of a loose or unattended or, or low drone. Is there any possibility of, of scoping that out? I'm always scoping. Every week. Every week I'm looking for drones. Alright. So you're scoping out the drone networks. You're looking for unexpected travel patterns, I guess. Because you're trying to stay away from the, the well-known ones. Because those are all corporate. Yeah. And it just so happens that you see a drone floating over your head. What will you do? Well, not over your I head, but... Yeah, nearby. 
Let's see. I will attempt to use my... Hang on, I'm looking at my character. Pedro. Uh, da, 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 da. Pedro, scream at me if there's oh, anything yeah, yeah. wrong with the stream. I Just scream nonstop. My accessing computer network to hack the drone. I have a level of four. Roll that plus your smarts. That's what was my smarts. My real life smarts is not enough to memorize that stat. <laughs> but it's six four. And they're detents. Yep. Okay. Nice. Yep, you get into the drones network. You're able to see that it's uh, it's a small business drone trying to make its way. Well, I wanted to make its way back to my spot, and uh, I want to I want to take it over. I want to conquer it. You do you do that with relative ease. It's got very little firewalling. Somebody's shop is going to be mine as a drone. Uh, you also finished. get a pizza because it was delivering pizza. <laughs> oh, yeah. Score. Good. Uh, all right. Two I'm going to put that in my character sheet. Drone plus pizza. You should like come over to my crib and bring pizza. We'll call the guys. We'll have some fun. Have some pizza. Mm -hmm. Pizza. Nice. Pizza. All right. Okay. That's all I did. All right. Any... Uh, Spending karma, anything like that? Believe it or not, I think I'm going to hang on to my karma for the time being. All right. Apologies for the, for the laziness. Nope, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Um, Trigger, we're going to hold off on your character for a well, You know what? No, we're not going to hold off on your character. You're up. Uh, you have a week to spend with your character for downtime. What's your character typically doing for downtime anyway? Not too much. Hustling people at pool at the bar, making extra cash that way. And uh, I don't know. Do you have Wait. anything? Oh, go on. Nope, that's all I'm gonna report. For all right. Do you have anything to spend karma on? Anything you want to buy up? What can I buy? Well, you can improve any skill you've got. You can add new skills, stuff like that. Buy me a drink. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose, yeah. So charisma, that would be the charisma score. Uh, uh, how high do we go with this? Uh, well, what are you looking at purchasing or improving? Well, I mean, how high do the numbers go? I got dexterity of seven, so I guess it goes. So down. the normal maximum is six. You're an elf, so that's plus one. So you're actually at your maximum for dexterity. Okay. But yeah, anything else you can bump up to six. Might be a good one to do. Let's put that one up there. Uh, are you sure about that? I mean, it's, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. It's it's actually a perfectly fitting idea. It's just a matter of. Is that something you want to boost up? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let me look up the cost real quick. Uh, for those of you looking at the stream, this is our Shadow Store document. It's kind of the rule set we use. Uh, karma, do karma. All right, so to improve an attribute is the new rating times three. So what's your current charisma? That's at five, I believe. So to boost it up will cost six, 12, 18. Eighteen karma? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got 35, I guess. So you can definitely spend it on that. Yeah, that's fine. All right, that's so big. boost it up. Anything else? 
Um, did I get all my stuff refilled? For like flashbangs and grenades and stuff? Uh, you spent whatever grenades you had last time, uh, whatever you used, uh, to buy new grenades. I think it was 40 a grenade. Let me just double check. Do I have to hit share after this? Or... Do you have to hit what? I put it up to six. Is there anything else I have to do, or is that done? Uh, let me take a look real quick. Do, 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 do. Looking at character sheets. Uh. I feel like you have far too little experience for where you're at. I hear a cat. It's awesome. It's it's mine. She just wants to go outside. She can go fuck herself. So you spent a total of 22. Okay. Uh, done, done. I just went in and made sure everything's set. All right, so oh, I probably could have kept going with that and just done grenades. Yeah, flashbangs are 30. Uh, fragmentation grenades are 35. High explosives are 45. So just take away any Nuyen and add any grenades you need and you're good. Okay. Anything else? So they're 30 million a piece? Uh, flashbang to 30. Uh, that looks like I'm pretty full with that. I think... How much would a, I don't know if you got like a rocket launcher or some equivalent or airburst grenade, artillery. Well, uh, do so they exist? Stealer. Well, I have an arm stealer, I know. They should exist in the future, I think. <clears throat> Let's see here. I'm just looking up the information for the rocket launchers and trying to figure out how legal they are. Because the the thing gives you a. Uh... Well, if that's not legal, then we'll just I'll just buy a nuke. That'll be good. <laughs> yeah. That's better. Yeah. Just get a nuke. Take care <laughs> of the problem. Problem solved. I mean, I have to, like, set it off a little bit further away from us, but as long as the blast radius hits the bad guys, yeah, we're okay. All right. Just drive away. So, there's two type of rocket launchers in here. There's, like, a little quick bazooka that you just fire a rocket off and it's done. And then there's a reloadable one. The reloadable one is stupid illegal. You're not getting that. But the other ones, what kind of, what level connection does your arms dealer contact have? Um, I've got, it says he's at a three. Hmm. Three. That. So, I guess it's pretty good. That's not bad, um... You could probably get some uh, old uh, Soviet equipment. Yeah. You know, sneak it in there somehow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like the catacrees. Of course, the section on legality doesn't tell you how difficult it is to get a hold of stuff. 
Yeah. Go free. It can't be difficult. To get a rocket launcher? It's got an arms dealer. Even still, though, sneaking it into New York? I don't know. I just want to make sure I get the right call here. I'm trying to figure out what the rules are for it, and it's like... Is this going to a rocket launcher? Apparently. Uh... Hi, we're going to send you to a different page to try to find a thing. Just uh, tell them to go to Rocket Launchers R Us. And you can get a pretty good deal there. Okay. I want you to roll your negotiation plus your charisma, which you just upgraded. Uh, charisma and negotiation skill. Feel like uh, everything went quiet. Is everything good? No, I'm still here. I'm still here. If you don't have it, oh, do you have it. any? Yeah. Okay. Ten D ten. Okay. All right, you get yourself access to two. Count them two. Uh, what are they called? I know I had the page saved, and I can't find it. Launcher or air burst grenades? You're kidding. Uh, like Panzerfausts, pretty much. Bazookas. Little one shotters. Okay. Bazookas. <clears throat> okay. Found it. No, I didn't. Did I find it this time? I did. Alright, cool. So you're getting yourself two Ass Technology Strikers. It's an extremely light. Disposable launcher, perfect for shadow runners who want to deliver a punch and make a quick, unencumbered getaway. Uh, they can have. Grenades, rockets, and missiles. You can go, you have a choice, you have three choices here. And remember, you have two of them, so you can get one and one. Uh, you can go anti-vehicle, fragmentation, or high explosive. Mm. Anti-vehicle. For both of them? Yeah, sure. Just make it consistent. Okay, that will be 4,000 new yen. Cool. So he has a rocket launcher. 
Everyone, just be aware, he has two of them. It's promising. Sounds like fun. Oh. Jameson, I, well, Trigger, you're done, right? Yeah. Jameson, you're up. You have a week. What do you do? What do you buy? So my character's actually been studying the past week. Uh, he's been studying Japanese. Cool. Okay. Um, no, he figures being that the, uh, I forget what the names are, but the, the Japanese assassins who they've been fighting, it might be nice to actually understand some of the things that they're saying. Yakuza, yeah, sure. Maybe tell them to throw a fuck off in Japanese. That would probably be a level one skill. So he's, you know, he's been studying up. Uh, do you already have that language? I do not. Okay. Too good karma. Too good karma? Yep. Too good karma gets you a brand new Japanese level one. Well, one second. I'm just trying to see how much. Alright, so I've got. Alright, so I'm going to put that in. Just give me one minute. I'm stuck in my no worries. sheet right now. Take your time. I'm good. Alrighty, Ava. You're up. Do you have anything your character's been doing this week? Do you want to spend experience points? Anything like that? She's just been hanging out, having a good time, like she always does. Being a good girl, isn't that sweet? Yeah, good is um another word for it. Ah, immortal troublemakers. What fun, what fun. So no experience <laughs> spends. Okay, got it. Nope. Watched one of my friends play some pool, stole some pizza for another one. Probably yeah. vomited the pizza up when you tried to eat it because you're a vampire and you don't really need food. I've been working on my gag reflex. Don't worry about it. Oh, no, she... I bet. I, always... I thought you'd already mastered that. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously not if I'm throwing up pizza. I mean, Apparently it, not. Keep well, in mind, there's no digestive um, system at work. So, Tony's prepared to help you with that if you need some extra training. Is he now? Yep. <laughs> Low price, very cheap. Very cheap. <laughs> My blood slots are free, and one of them is male. Yeah, your blood spots are uh, they're they're wimps. Okay, they won't <laughs> they won't take you through your paces. They won't take you through your paces like Tony. He's the son of a preacher, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so... If I said one week, I meant two weeks. It doesn't really matter, because in the end, Veracity Trigger, your character gets a phone call. It's your shaman. Okay. It's from the IRS. They want their money. Let's see. Well, you must kill them, then. <laughs> Can't exist anymore. I'm sure the UCAS has its variety of a uh, thing of a bob or the uh, IRS. I'm sure it's more territory-based pay for protection taxes. Huh. Kind of like the old school mafia. A little bit, yeah. So it's the shaman. The shaman's on the phone. Ring, ring. Ring, ring, ring. Yep. Hello, Mr. Shaman. Trigger, it's been a while. How are you? Pretty good. Excellent. As you might recall, two weeks ago I asked you to be prepared to help me with something. I needed a little more assistance than I thought I would. Do you have a few friends you could bring along for this adventure? Got a few. I'm paying 2,000 new yen, but the true reward of this will be knowledge. 
with knowledge is power. G.I. Joe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that sounds great. Let's do it. You're going to meet me at, and uh, he gives you an address that you recognize as his usual meeting spot. And we'll go into the back room and we'll do some work. Gonna go into the back room and do some work. Pedro's here with a bunch of how to tell people to fuck off in Japanese. <laughs> Thank you, Pedro. I miss you. <laughs> Pedro's here for us. Oh. Pedro always has our back. Thank you, Pedro. Good to have you here, Pedro. Hashtag bear life. <laughs> All right, so you have the address, and now it's up to you to reach out to characters. All right, so all right, everybody, we got a job we got to do. Let's do it. Are you up for it? <laughs> Where are we meet? How in character? How in character? <laughs> <laughs> uh. I feel like you're going just going through the motions at this point. Let's meet up at the usual place. Okay. Where is anyway? where's the usual place anyway? That bar. That one bar. <laughs> Which one? Bar? I thought it was the. I thought it was a, a mini golf. I thought it was at the micro golf spot. The <laughs> miniature golf. We're doing golfing I, together. I have exposed a fissure in the team. They have not agreed on a usual place yet. We're going to the team I had always been in favor golf. of miniature golf. We, we never had a usual. We've never player. been to miniature golf. We've only ever been to a bar. All right. Well, well, this golf. time, this time, when you call me, my character's like, "All right, I can meet you at the miniature golf spot." On blah blah blah. <laughs> golf. Yeah, and I'm there with a with a Burger King hat, and you're like, "What is that?" And it's like, "Nah, it's just." It's, it's called conspicuous. Uh, it's that's called no one is going to pay attention to a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> They're all gonna think we're drunk or high. Yeah, we we'll just fall. show up drunk. Did that come with one of the drones that you stole? <laughs> no, the the drone is definitely in the back. By the way, Jesse, uh, can I retroactively buy like, four high explosive? Uh, sorry, buy, buy, sorry, Pedro, the jig is up. By the, can I can I retroactively purchase four high explosive grenades? Yes, you may. What are they? Like uh, forty five million. Forty five million each. Okay, so that's gonna be 180 million down the drain right there. I've got four high explosive grenades on my person. Uh, when I say so, I'm not gonna bring them to the mini golf spot. That'd be awkward. Or wherever we're meeting <laughs> up, I don't care. You can play mini golf with those things, see what happens. <laughs> well, uh, at a at a bar with a mini golf inside of it. I say, I I usually thought should be a, a strip club. Come down. It's, it's a combination a strip family strip club and miniature golf. Did, did you say a bear strip club? You can actually, you can actually hey, golf yeah, into the. Club. They combine it. You can actually like, golf through the stripper's legs. Oh shit! <laughs> like that one time when I was bowled through a girl's leg and I straight up broke her leg. <laughs> oh god, I remember yeah. that. To Jesse was the. I mean, Frost was there for that. Frost was there for that. I. Uh... Pretty sure. Man, I, I had a lot of bad luck with women after that. Oh nice. yeah, yeah. So how are you doing? Yeah, remember, home? Ava? Sorry. So how are you doing a hole in one at this place? Uh, oh, well, well, you have to ask. If you have to ask, uh, my character pulls you aside and just has a little conversation with you, like, listen. <laughs> this uh, is the maybe of the your mom, maybe talk. your parents. Yeah, I might give you that talk. <laughs> I said bear life. That's definitely true. So we're going to meet at the place? So we're meeting at a golf club. Uh, golf club. Mini golf. Golf, st golf strip club. Yeah, so I'm just going to like really unique. give up to Tony and take his Burger King hat and be like, bitch. <laughs> and I'm going to be like, would you like a slice of pizza? Where's the beef? I brought the pizza. <laughs> Wait, you didn't bring the beef? <laughs> yeah, I, I brought a pizza that I stole. Yeah, but apparently pizza makes me throw up. It's blood pizza. 
All right, I'm in. Let's go. <laughs> Pizza made out of dried blood. It's gross. Uh, you think it's sauce, you know. It's not, it's no, not that's the fresh blood. blood. Yeah, I don't what? think vampires can... I don't think vampires eat dried blood. Probably not. Anyway, um, who's leading this charge? I think it's VT. Yeah. It should, yeah. should be it should be trigger. Trigger. Okay. So what are we doing? Going on a mission. Secret agent things. Secret, Secret agent, agent man. group. Um man, there's one man here. One elf, one vampire, one bear. <laughs> I'm, I'm an elf. So oh, elf bear. Belf. Mm hmm. Hashtag Belf Life. <laughs> <laughs> better than hashtag Barf Life. <laughs> Ooh. Hey. Barf. <laughs> barf all over you. Barf nah. all over you. Oh, man. Nobody barfs weird. on the bear, the bear barfs on you. That would be a weird thing, too. Getting thrown off <laughs> by a bear. <laughs> like, would it be if... fish? It, Probably. It, fish and berries. Be some pizza, you know. Yeah, bears do eat garbage. Yeah, I am, uh, you know. I mean, at least oh, pizza yeah. tastes good on the way up, too. I can't imagine fish tasting good on the way up. Oh, hey, fish oh, tastes good to a bear. Nothing tastes good on the way up. Hmm. All right, guys and girls, we don't want to do this shit. Sure. All right, so... I'm assuming we're taking Trigger's armored ass car. Mm -hmm. Alright. Do it. Oh, yeah, shotgun. Bitch. Can I sit on the roof? <laughs> like, surf. That would be a good way to get caught. That's fine. I mean, well, I could have a sunroof put in, probably. <laughs> Dog. Hang your top end out. Might jeopardize your armor rating. Well, I mean, if I had to get out of the roof and shoot a grenade launcher at something, that would be pretty convenient at that point. You know? All right. So for 3,000 million, you can get a sunroof put in. Do it. Done. <laughs> All right. You've got a sunroof on your car. What about some extra cup holders? Because everybody's going to. Want to bring a drink of some kind? Fifty no. million each. Okay, do it. Done. No, actually, Mom, I think you've got holders. a luxury car. I think it's pretty set. It's just cup holders. That's that's not too hard. You cut some holes. You put the plastic <laughs> thingy in there. <laughs> yes, yeah, just cut hey, some it holes in already. the car. <laughs> you know. Well, I said extra, extra meaning. I mean, my shitty. I already have. I shouldn't say it's shitty, but my. Lowest cost possible Hyundai Elantra comes with like cup holders, like four of them. Oh, that's not enough. We need the extras. We need like oh, yeah. in case we want to bring extra drinks of some kind. You know. Of the alcoholic I put, nature. I gotta put my Molotov cocktail somewhere. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, he has well, a point. I mean, one for the one for weapons for grenades and all that and one yes, for... your grenade needs a cup holder. <laughs> well, uh, you easy put access. Like, do you want me to like build a whole armory rack and you know around the, uh, the edges of the car on the inside? How big do you right. think this car is? Well, it's not that big. That's why I was saying cup holders, because then it's multi-use. You know, you could have drinks or Molotovs or grenades or <laughs> extra ammo or. I don't know. I suppose you could store a magazine or two there, yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's, and then, then if police look at the vehicle, they're like, hey, that's got, you know, a thing for weapons. That's illegal. You mean private you know? rent to cops? Yeah. No, but they, mean... then, then if they look at the car and they just see cup holders, like, man, this guy really brings a lot of sodas on a trip. Mm. You know? Or they'll be like, man, he has Especially to when they're filled with grenades. Well, if the car is empty, they're not going to know that. We're not going to use the ammo all the time. It's just for one mission, and then we're done. You know, and then we leave all the shrapnel there. I don't. Think <laughs> so police our rounds. 
Yeah, we just leave it there, bury it or something. I don't care. Fuck, whatever. <laughs> you know? Put a, put a magnet underneath the vehicle and let it, you know, hang off there. I don't care. Whatever. I mean, he has a point. <clears throat> God, so, don't look at cup holders twice. No, I might look under pretty, them, though. Inconspicuous. Because you kept telling me the whole time about how conspicuous my vehicle was. Because the armor. If you paint over that, give a good polish. Um, nice pink racing stripe and some flowers. Maybe some... um. A little sticker on the back of flip flops, you know. Definitely some fuzzy dice. Right, yeah. salt life on it. Yes. Or maybe lake life or something. But um, I, I think the racing stripes would be okay. But pink, you, you can't do flashy. You know, I just saw the other day this really cool green color. It was kind of like a military green color. Somebody had it on their Porsche, and there's cops driving around all over the place. We're actually sheriffs, but. He goes up ahead, you know, and everybody's speeding a little bit. He goes up ahead just a little bit, and the cop immediately goes after him. So anything that's kind of flashy, they're like, hey, he's got something that's cool. I'm going to pull him over because, <laughs> well, yeah, I, I don't have that. And that's kind of what happens. So I can't do too flashy. So we can do, like, gray tones oh. or muted tones or something that's, you know, you got to have, like, one of those undercover cars, you know, People aren't gonna suspect. I mean, no one would suspect we were cops. So, yeah. Yeah. So, we just need to keep it. At, uh, on the DL. Yeah, basically on the DL. That's exactly right. The so, lake life and flip flops. Yeah. I've never oh, heard oh, lake life. Hey, I've heard oh. salt life. Okay, so Frost, how much is it for one of those little decals with the little family members on the back? Oh, you know, like, no, do the, the dinosaurs. Little... It'd be like where they, the dinosaur <laughs> ate the family. Okay, I don't care. Any uh, kind of weird little decal Jesus. just makes Seven it Seven million, like I don't care. Yeah, all right. You just, like, just a normal, <laughs> average uh, noob. <laughs> uh, on, a, something. on a luxury car, okay. Yeah, it just it just looks stupid and ridiculous, and then you just you you look brain dead. You look like a yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Now that's that's all settled. <laughs> <laughs> the most important question of the night, by the way. Now that that's all settled, let's oh, roll. Shit, what time is it? <laughs> um. All right. So you drive to uh, what do you call it? A magic shop in Long Island, uh, Nassau County, sure, why not? Because it's close to home. And uh, you find yourself... You go in the front door, it's your stereotypical out-of-your-imagination magic shop where there's all sorts of weird plants and occasionally animals and stuff. Mm. Oh, those are more intended for pets. There are no bears. Fuck. And there's this this shaman. Now, Trigger, you can help me out with this, because it's, it's your contact, after all. What does this shaman look like? Well, he kind of looks like an uh, old hobo. You know, he doesn't really wear appropriate clothes. He just... He, he looks like somebody you'd pass in the street and think he's going to ask you for some money. You know, he's, he's, he's one of those kinds of people people try to avoid. And I think the fact that because he has all these magical powers... He does it to make sure that they will avoid him. You ever saw that one uh, Twilight Zone episode with the one salesman, you know? And uh, he always had something for somebody, but uh, no, it was always the right thing for that person. But it didn't always mean that it was good for them. It just... Well, like the monkey it was, paw? It was good for him. Hmm. No, it, he's, he gave... Uh, something to everybody you know that would help them out like this one person he gave them this this bus ticket and this mm-hmm. bus ticket led this baseball person to like a better offer and he got a is raise. this a real show on the twilight zone yeah it was a real episode okay. um, but it helped but everything almost everything he gave helped out somebody but then there was this one asshole that huh. you know tried to like hold him up to get extra things from him because he thought he was going to strike it rich and he eventually this gave that guy a, like... pair of, a pair of shoes. And the guy 
put on the parachutes thinking it was going to be good for him. And he ran out to, you know, get the old man that was selling stuff again. And he slipped on the road and got hit by a car. And he says, <laughs> well, that pair of shoes was good for me. You know, because... <laughs> huh. He just straight up murdered a dude? He sounds like the <laughs> evil wizard... He sounds like the evil Wizard of Oz. He was like a magician of sorts, but, you know, he was always doing a helpful thing for everybody after that. And then, Except right this when guy. the show is going to end, he gives this one guy a comb, and the guy's like, I don't need a comb. And, like, immediately after that, news fan or news crew pulls up in there. They want to take mm. his picture for the paper. And, he, mm. and he's like, oh, I, I got a comb, so I'm looking for the paper. <laughs> and then he gets publicized to just... Yeah. So he's kind of like That's that clever. type of character, you know. He I like your long. So... Cut. Okay, that was a bit long, but I, like I guess you got my point. guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, ugly, maybe smelly, shaman guy is like, well, interesting team you've brought together. Come on back, and we're gonna go places. He says. Okay. Places. Gonna go places, Let's go baby. Some places. You see, I need escorts for this trip. We're going oh, someplace. I don't. I don't go that way. <laughs> he ignores your pithy comment. Hang on. Hang on. That's extra. <laughs> okay. Hello, Sir Run On. By the way, um, are we gonna magically teleport somewhere again and be there? Gonna we're there going. To... Good guess, he says. But we're actually going to do something a little different. We're going to go to a place without our bodies. Hmm. Uh, so astral projection. projection. I don't know if my soul could go into another reality. You know, I don't that whole you not like having that. a soul thing. Do vampires no, have souls? No. That's an excellent question, and it really like depends on how you look at souls. Because you're definitely dead. You're only kept yeah. alive by the blood causing a reaction. But do you have a soul? Yes, you do. It just belongs to Satan. It's just so are we going to have to do like, a lot of room for this or something? Isn't vampirism really just a, a serious, serious extreme addiction? It's like intense anemia. <laughs> That's certainly the blade version of it. Like a cur um, like if you're a curse as a werewolf, you just have this extreme addiction to like wolfing out and eating a lot of meat. No, um, so you're like a hyper frat boy. <laughs> a werewolf is a curse. <laughs> but, I mean, they're both they're both curses. So a werewolf is a curse where you become a wolf, you know, based on the moon, and then a vampire is a curse where you can't actually die. Well, I mean, you can, but it's not the same, and you have a forever hunger. I, I guess I guess the fact that you can't die is because you're drinking all this extra blood, which is giving you extra life force, which is giving you yes. immortality. Um, so, so the reason that Dracula can't go to more. heaven is because he's got no soul. I've done way too much research on this. Um, but no, vampires do not have souls. I mean, it all depends on your mythology. Well, okay, okay. So, I mean, I, I really also think, like, I, I guess what I'm saying is that, like, if vampires don't have souls, how do they have personalities? To me, the soul is the thing that animates you. So if vampires are animated, what animates them? Do you guys watch I Supernatural? They were. Yes. You watch Supernatural? So yes. when Jack loses his soul, it's because he used a lot of his, his magical angelic powers. And he yeah, became more his like grace. A, he became more like a robot. Whereas... He didn't realize he was doing something wrong. He was like, oh, that was wrong? Okay. And he just kind of goes through life without a conscious. This is kind of what they described as a soul. I don't know how perfect an analogy that is. I don't know. But that's my, that's my two cents, I guess. But I mean, well, that's how I would think of it, where vampires just go off the memories of who they were. So they're, so they're like oh, automatons. Okay. So, so they're a par So the parasite that is them, they parasite not only the blood but the memories, and the memories become them. So they're like an echo yeah. of themselves. Great way to say it. Well, in Vampire the Masquerade, it's more like you just become dead, and you still have a soul. 
and you can still have that soul drank down when you get Diablo Reed, which is always fun. And then you can... There's a storyline where somebody, like, sneaks up on this ancient vampire, bites him, drinks him down, takes all his power, and finds out, like, yeah, congratulations, you just gave that ancient vampire that was wounded a brand new body, because it just... it's it, His soul absorbed your body, just stole it. Oh. Kicked you out. Bum, bum, bum. It's like oh, a... We did one of the Falcon's Bane type deal. Hmm. Okay. So, so the soul that is him is more powerful than him. If it is more powerful than him. Right, it is. It's definitely it, like a 4,000 year old vampire. So it's like an amoeba. It just absorbs the uh, the other guy's soul. Yep, it kicks mm -hmm. him out of his own body, basically, and kills him. And fresh body. Maybe there's some... Pedro. Pedro's citing the wikipedia for shadowrun for the h m h v v that is the human metahuman virus which is shadowrun does it as a virus that makes you into like a ghoul and top tier ghouls are like vampires but this is more vampire the masquerade based so ta i win because damn it we're debating mm. vampirism instead of playing shadowrun which is not bad, by the way. Soul to astral project, because it doesn't make sense. That, that was where this came from. Can no, I it was a good question. Yes, you can astral projection. project. You can absolutely astral project. Okay. Okay, so we're going into another dimension here, all right? Yep. Yes. So the first step is, as you might have guessed... Have some shrooms. Some... Yes, exactly, shrooms. Or at least some concoction that he passes around to trigger... To Tony and to Ava, because why oh, not? But he kind of looks at Jameson and just says, "Can you project?" I can. Excellent. Then you don't need this. Is it good? Because I might try it. You're welcome to. It's not though. I'll try. So he's giving us some bad shrimps. Let's eat them. He's giving you some... Are well, they they're shrimp? Are they shrimp? No, they're shrooms. Oh, I thought you said they're like, like psychedelic shrimp. I was like... <laughs> yes. <laughs> there might shrimp. be shrimp in this recipe, he says. Okay. Wait. Are they like bad it's salmon? I never ate that yet. <laughs> bad salmon will make you astral project. <laughs> Probably it's permanently. It's the mercury, motherfucker. <laughs> the Mercury. <laughs> Damn it, that's my character's name. Alright, so yeah. these pictures are gonna drink it. Down the hatch. Down the, down the hatch. That's one. Chug, 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 chug. That's two. Gotta chug it. I guess it. my gag reflex was pretty good today, huh? That's three. I've been You'll probably throw it up while you're unconscious. So you, you swallow it down. For the first five minutes, you feel kind of normal. For the next five minutes, you feel extremely lightheaded. The shaman begins to stretch, do a couple little calisthenics. Sort of like that, yeah. I'm going to do some, some, some bear yoga while I wait. It's stretched out. Shaman exactly. sits down. And for those who aren't used to magic, they can notice that the shaman begins to glow quite radiantly. Jameson starts to glow with a little less radiance. What up, motherfucker? <laughs> the shaman says, all right, <laughs> clear your heads. Shaman's eyes closed, his body falls limp, and somehow you see the shaman step out of his own body and approach you. He takes his palm, presses it to your forehead, and lifts you up out of your own bodies. Because, after all, you're not astral projectors of your own accord. He's helping you do it. Oh, I'm going to be like, yo, what's up, gangsters? Yeah. Now. I'm so glad I bought all that extra ammo. I can't even huh. use it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can we bring items from the physical realm that sort of has a spiritual attachment to the other I'll dimension? So. No. With us? But okay. if you concentrate really, really hard, what looks like a gun appears in your hands. Now, important thing to note. Uh, Ava, your soul is a little... Well... No. Battered. Battered. It's been through some shit, it looks like. It's... I'm trying to think of what it is in Vampire, but it's definitely darker. 
Uh, Jameson, your soul looks normal. Uh, Holy. Solstice, yours looks like it's got some wires running through it. And Trigger, yeah. yours has the, uh, absent patches where you have implants. So it looks like you're missing ears, it looks like you're missing eyes. Looks yeah. fun. I'm like, damn, so, guys, what the fuck? Uh, when you're a soul, you don't really need eyes. Just one big eye. So it's okay. Yep. Also, important difference is that Jameson actually, like, his body is very articulated. Ava's is partially articulated. Solstice's is, again, wiry. And Trigger's Wait, is kind of... Jameson bear? You're goddamn right, motherfucker. You, Jameson could turn bear form. Yes, he could. Just call me Winnie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> this is my shit. Oh, bother. I was going to say Chewy, but I'll call you Winnie, I guess. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Incidentally, it's illegal in China to post a picture of uh, uh, their president, Xi, Zhao Jiping. Is it Zhao Jiping? As, uh, uh, as Winnie the Pooh. They erase all pictures of Winnie the Pooh also, so they, they, he just outright yeah, Winnie, Winnie the Pooh, Pooh is illegal in China. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really Communism. Because people... Yeah. Uh, because basically, like their their dictator the the doesn't tolerate any criticism, and this is uh, Zhao Jiping, I think. Uh, the right. dictator Not doesn't sure tolerate. Not sure that, but yeah, he doesn't it's like Xi. About I, I think it's X I. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, he doesn't let anyone joke about him. He can't take a joke. It's G. And so yeah, if you uh, yeah, and so Winnie the Pooh, a lot of people compare him to that, and he's like totally illegal. Don't do it. I've Five seen years cool luck. He actually does look kind of similar to Winnie the Pooh. A little yeah, bit. He does. You think you would make that into like a oh, I'm such a nice person thing? I would. No. If I look like Winnie the Pooh, I'd be, you know, putting memes of myself out there with that just for fun. Exactly. I'd be like, look at me. I'm this kindly bear. I'm <laughs> generous, and I have honey, and I'll give you honey. Just don't criticize well, the my government. <laughs> no, but the thing about it is that the Winnie the Pooh thing is a, it is a criticism. I know. And so the thing, the way that criticism creeps in is they start off by making fun of you, but that's just to test you before they really start criticizing you. I'm pretty sure right. they're just making fun of how he looks. Well, now that we have a possible spiritual bear, too, I think yeah. we're well armed. I will be your yogi on this adventure. Okay. So I think that's the shaman shop. So anyway, the shaman can can, can the vampire uh, can Ava with her darker energy help out with a more destructive force against whatever we're coming up against, possibly. Well, her mana bolt still works. Okay. Does all my magic work? Uh, yeah, but a lot of it doesn't have a purpose. Like a fireball doesn't really matter much on an astral plane. Okay. Speaking of which, the shaman looks at Jameson and says, Now, I wonder if you can do this. He focuses his energy for a moment and opens a portal into what looks like just a gray, cloudy, misty space. Uh, Alright, I'm going to try it. Sounds Let's like start. my level life. You have, you have no idea what he just did. Okay, I'm gonna try it anyways. Okay, I don't know what to make you roll for this. It's a meta magic. Uh, so yeah. I'll be like, you, you try. I'll, no, I just want to be like, can you teach me that? You need to roll. You may this. find something that can teach you. I may be able to help you as well. It depends on certain factors, he says. Okay, like money. Money always helps, but sometimes destiny has its own way of doing things. Need to roll charisma. Okay. You could roll charisma. That's true. I'm gonna roll charisma. Roll and charisma. Negotiation, maybe. Sure. So five. One second. Uh, so 70-10. Ah, son of a bitch. Well, he smiles at you and just says, it depends on what happens here today. 
Okay. You may find something more suited to your tastes. Okay. Anyway, are you coming, he says, and he gestures towards the portal. And he winks. <laughs> then he nudges. He gently punches you in the face, too. <laughs> gently. <laughs> gently. Kindly. <laughs> Very kindly to give you a slap. <laughs> Alright, so, so everybody's going into the portal? Yep. 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 Fly into it. Yeah, you are kind of flying. I moonwalk into the portal. <laughs> I know that's not moonwalk, but... Good God, Jesse. I thought you were a musician. I'm a and percussionist. And I keep saying that. I apologize. I apologize. Uh, it's fine. I, yeah, I'm a percussionist. You're... I could play yeah, well, it on you a drum still set. Have... Yeah, but you didn't even get like the rhythm right, Mr. Percussionist. Yes, I did. Anyway, going, going on, going on. Anyway, so you enter into this space, and at first it's just mist all around you. You can't see anything in front of you, but then you that mist parts, and you observe that you're on what looks like a massive, tremendous island. You're on the outer rim of this island. And instead of water, there's just a cliff. In the center of this island is a tremendous temple, or what looks like a temple anyway. Cool. All right. So Sweet. I guess we're going to the temple, hey? Indeed we are. Is it holy ground? Yeah, holy ground? We can't, we can't holy... kill you on holy ground. It's in the astral space. It's not, there's no way it can be holy ground. I mean, Just check it. Depends on the plane. Well, it's you know, plane. vampires hallowed ground. Just, just checking. It's a holy. You'll be fine, he says. Ground. Yeah. This place welcomes all. Fantastic. So, the shaman begins walking toward the temple, and as you approach. You notice that, frankly, it seems like this temple is getting further away, not closer. Mm. Uh, um, that's one of those. I continue to moonwalk towards the temple. Okay, so we can do a perception check. There, sure, backwards. you can do a perception check. I'm going to walk away from the temple so I can go inside of it. That's so what I was just thinking. Funk detection! I'm going, I'm going, I'm trying, my computer's slow. It's alright. So hey, Bruce, can, can you keep going? I'm gonna be back in a minute. I'll be right back. You got it. So it's hard to tell, but it doesn't look like you're actually getting further away. It more like just looks like this temple is that huge. Okay. Just a big, big temple. That's what she said. I, I gotta give you like no points for that. That had no innuendo whatsoever. <laughs> I've never heard that. Sorry, In a bedroom that setting, I've never heard of a temple referred to. You've never heard of somebody's womanly parts being referred to as a temple? The body is a temple? Like, yeah, but never. Woman, like not that. a man. But never like that. You could be a lesbian. True. Okay. I'm taken. But yes, oh, what a body big temple is a temple. You have. I'm, I'm just saying... I'm going to worship at your temple? Come on. I'm just saying it's a stretch. Yeah, he's right, though, because it said big temple. Yeah. That was the setup. You, you call wanted. a woman big, and she's probably not going to react <laughs> very well. Yeah. I usually <laughs> don't say anything. If we're at that point, I just shut the hell up. Sometimes silence has its virtues. A nice safe bet. But anyway, there's a temple. It's huge. We're walking towards it. Okay. Or did my backwards trick work? What backwards trick? He was going to walk backwards to get inside. I walked away from it to go inside of it. No, no, walking away from it just seems to make you walk away from it. It was an optical illusion. We weren't actually getting yeah. further away. Yeah. I kind of want to call a boo right now, though. My What's little that? monkey friend. The monkey from Aladdin. Oh, a boo? Yeah. 
Do you have a monkey? Aladdin does. <laughs> oh. I guess you should have one too. I should. I don't know. Do bears eat monkeys? Um. Yeah. Pretty much. Bears eat everything. Bears yeah, but he's monkeys. human. He's Huber. Oh. He's got Huber. I have So, the shaman and the rest of the team are walking along, minding your own business. The shaman yeah. pauses for a minute and just kind of stretches his shoulders out a bit and says, Prepare, young ones. The, your test is going to begin soon. Okay. Well, you didn't think I called you here for nothing, did you? Right. No. I'm gonna turn into my werebear form. Turn into your werebear form, so you, your astral form shifts, becomes larger, gets little claws, and becomes all werebear y. Werebear countdown. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> okay. So. Okay. That was a joke. Nobody ever saw, saw Care Bear when they were little. Never mind. I, I when I was little, but I don't remember it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair, fair stare. <laughs> right, I think we should do that when we see an opponent here. It should be our new magic smurf. Magic smurf? Move. He could care bear stare. Oh, okay. I thought you. I thought he was gonna be the, the care bear and I'm the magic smurf. <laughs> okay. Alright, so. What? What, what? What are we looking at? Right now, you're looking at the shaman, and he's told you to stretch out and get ready. Okay, so I'm gonna do some soul stretches. I'm gonna I'm do gonna... some. Yeah, I'm gonna do some yogi. I'm gonna do some uh, warrior poses, some sun salutations. Trigger's got My his little astral gun. My character does some spiritual jumping jacks. Always important. Mm -hmm. Spiritual beer. From the direction oh. of the temple, a pack of what seem to be like magical looking wolf spirits approach. Oh, wolf there are six of them. Okay. okay. And they All seem right, to be looking on. at you. But they don't seem to see the shaman. All right, hang on a second. I have I have paranormal critters four. Can I roll some sort of perception to determine what they are? Sure you can. Okay, what do I roll besides paranormal uh, critters? Smarts. Okay, one second. Depending upon what he finds, I might want to roll something to try to negotiate with the, the wolves and see what they're here for. One moment. Testing. One, two. Testing, please. Test I rolled. It didn't, it didn't roll. Okay, here we go. There it is. So, as to these things specifically, there's no entries. But, there are all sorts of spirits on the planes. They take many shapes, many forms. Uh, you're not even sure what plane you're on at this moment, so it's hard to pin down what it might be. But these things may be intelligent. They may not. They may... Well, they may just be out for blood, or they may not. It's Unfortunately, it's one of those situations where having such a large base of knowledge really leaves you with no better clue than if you had no idea whatsoever because you know there's so many different things it could be. So, so basically my character them. doesn't really have, he doesn't really know. Yeah, there's no way to be sure, but... No hints? No no similarities to anything? What about my character? He's been in a lot of actual planes. Does he know what one this is? This is just... Okay, so just to remind you of the difference, you've been on ast the astral plane, the plain old ordinary basic astral plane, but you're not an initiate, so you've never gone to a meta plane. Oh. 
This oh, does not you? resemble any regular old astral thing. This is no astral space that corresponds to a real place. This is a completely different planar experience than you've ever had. Gotcha. Okay. All right. I'd like to try to negotiate, or at least be able to communicate with them to see what their see what their intentions are. Go for it. Try to understand it. All right. So I guess it's, I tried to uh, charisma talk. plus negotiation. Okay. Well, I'm going to talk to the leader of the pack because wolves. Charisma <clears throat> and goat. Six. All right. So. So I need to know if we can be friendly here. And if I don't get that kind of sign. And with cap him. Yeah. Three, four, four. Kill the leader. So you have never, well, probably never tried to approach a wolf and make friends with it before. These things may not even be wolves in their nature, but you're brave. You're perseverant. You got four successes. And you're able to get the wolves to stop looking at you very hungrily by... I don't know what the hell you did to do it, but you did it. I'm good with dogs. That counts. <laughs> so The shaman looks at you and says, Well, that was an interesting way to pass. Thank you. Good job, buddy. buddy. Sometimes you don't need to kill everything to make something work. Thanks, James. The human. <laughs> so you continue walking to the temple. And the temple seems to approach faster and faster. Mm -hmm. Eventually you're on the steps. There are more of these wolves, but they let you pass. And you enter through three concentric, I think I'm saying that right, concentric. rings, concentric, sorry, concentric mm -hmm. rings, until finally you make your way down a hallway, down a stairwell, or a ramp, rather. All sorts of directions. For a minute, you feel like you get lost. But finally, you come in to a small room that's really just large enough for about ten people, and you notice that the floor of the room is a large-ish, I mean, for the room anyway, hole in the ground with, as you look down into it, a green river of energy flowing beneath you. Hmm. Oh, we found the, uh, the entry, uh, or where, what if the energy was in Final Fantasy VII, or they had the... Hmm. Oh, the live stream. Life, the live stream come out. We found the live stream here. <laughs> Are we going to beat Cloud here? <laughs> I'm going to do a perception check. I'm kidding. <laughs> I know. Uh, sure, perception. So is it just perception? Or is it perce perception plus smarts? Uh, wits plus perception. Wits plus, all right. That is the fun gonna... detection roll. I have a feeling we're going to draw that energy towards us. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, you rolled. Okay. Um, anyone else want to roll perception while we're at it? I'll roll. Was it smart plus perception? Uh, wits. Wits. Funk detection. Let's go. Did we bring anything along that... Well, I guess... Have to make it. 
six. Six successes. Nice. All right, so it is easy to observe that the shaman has taken a position across from the hole, non-threatening. Uh, the only other thing you notice, and you all notice this, but I guess Tony notices it particularly fast, is that the room seems to expand a bit, as does the hole. It doesn't push you towards the hole. It just creates more room for you to work with. Okay. So I'm going to look at the shaman and be like, what is this? This is a chance to see what comes next. Uh, One possible thing that comes next, anyway. All right. I, my character, this isn't multi-level marketing, is it? I've heard this before. <laughs> shaman just laughs. All right, so we're going to be able to gain something out of this yes what do we have to give a lot of your first soul or the soul of your firstborn a little bit of your time he says come in well, let's do it what do we my character is like all right buddy so what do we have to do the four of you jump in together. I Should we hold hands and, and jump in a circle? Yes, let's hold hands. Let's yes. um, do the care. So I, the, the I, I agree. Care and jump in. Yes, I let's... agree. I'm in. Me too. Do it. Do it. Can we skip as we're jumping? Yes, you can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw the line there. You can skip. <laughs> I'm gonna just jump. I'm gonna drag your ass. <laughs> all right, so I'm you all jump first. in. This is like there's every no day as a like lifeguard. Home. This is like there's no place like home. <laughs> I think we should buy you some ruby red slippers. Hold hands and jump in the pool. So you all hold hands, I guess, and you hop on in. And we're gonna take a short intermission, and then we'll talk about where we line up. I'll be back in a few minutes. You guys are free to talk or get up and stretch your legs all or whatever. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll be here. I'm not looking. I'm not on. Uh, I'm not on Twitch, so I'm not on the chat. Is anyone else on Twitch? Twitch breaks my computer. Oh, that's too bad. Come my on. laptop was having issues. It's dying. Like the laptop that I got back, it's dying again. Again? Uh, yeah, it's probably my fault. I left it in the garage, and I think bugs crawled into it and shorted the keyboard. And so I'm like, uh, it's not really worth the repair this time around. I mean, never to let you use my laptop, ever. You probably shouldn't. You probably shouldn't. I, I, it was a foolish mistake for me to leave an, uh, a laptop in the open in a garage because bugs do crawl into electronics and they will corrupt your electronics if you let them. Yeah. So, so you know. Well, I live in the South now and I have an exterminator and they just don't seem to do enough. You've got bugs everywhere? It, okay. It feels like I have bugs everywhere, but it's more, you know, that concrete jungle to the south difference. I mean, if I see two spiders a week, that's a lot, but it still feels like it's a lot. My whole garage is full of spiders. Like, they're my spider bros. I see them everywhere, but I'm fine with it. Like, they line, they build webs all along the rim of the garage door, and that's fine because it keeps bugs out. It keeps, like, mosquitoes and shit out there. I know that... I know that I'm not getting eaten by mosquitoes because there's a literal web, a mesh of webs around the gaps in the garage door. I want to allow that. And, I, and I've thought about that. You know, they keep the mosquitoes out, but I'm allergic to spiders. So if I get bit by a, a spider, I could very likely be going to the hospital. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. I'm not knowingly allergic to spiders. I got bit and almost went blind. So there's that. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. No. So you got bit in the eye? Yeah, it was right above my eyebrow. And at first mm -hmm. we thought it was a pimple, so it wasn't really playing with, like... You were like, whatever. Yeah, no big deal. What is and it then it was that getting... they inject into you? Um, mm -hmm. Well, they have their own venom. Um, okay. But I don't even know what kind of spider it was. It was just my, at the time, noticed that, like, because it was getting bigger and bigger and bigger, so we went to pop it, and I was like, wait, there's two dots in here, not one. And he tried to pop it, and literally nothing happened. So I went to the doctor thinking, you know, it was just some kind of cyst or something. 
And he's like, oh, well, no, this is an allergic reaction to a spider bite, and you're lucky you didn't let it get any bigger, because if it did pop, it would have gotten in your eye, you would have been blind. Okay. Well. Thanks. Hmm. So unfortunately, at this point, I even kill Daddy Long Legs. If, if I can't get them out of the house, I will try Daddy to get Long them in a cup legs. and put it into, they, they um, and bring it outside. Either. No, they Daddy can't. Daddy Long just... Legs can't bite you. Their 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 fangs aren't long enough. I know. I just it's it's an all or nothing. I do my best to all get right. them in a cup and bring them outside, unless they're in the shower. If they're in the shower, pff, you're going down the drain. Uh. Yeah, I don't shower with bugs. Sorry. <laughs> but I try. I mean, I'm the weirdo who will s not here because there's no sidewalks here. It's the weirdest thing. Um, but like I would pick up worms off the sidewalk and throw it in the grass you know like i try mm -hmm. really hard not to be like anti-nature but spiders in my house i have an issue that's fair you don't have to love all god's creatures i mean i accept their purpose it's just it's a me or them kind of situation get this feeling like some some things don't really have a, a conscious they just run off of a program like insects. So huh. if I step on one, I'm not really worried. Yeah, but they things. say don't don't uh, squish a cockroach because they're always pregnant. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just I just killed a cockroach that way like a few days ago. I was I was down in Florida and I crunched it with the back end of a, a flashlight, but I only got the butt, apparently, because the still top end was still wiggling around two hours later. Oh god. So I crunched what? it again. It was on its way out. It was laying like up, you know, with its legs hanging out. And I go crunch it again, and I didn't get its head. And so two hours later, the head was still looking around and was looking at me. I was like, "Oh fuck!" <laughs> I go Ew. crunch its head. It was like shit. And it was like, to that. It was a bad way to die, but <laughs> I didn't get rid of it. Cause... Oh, I have to take my steroids. Ah. We actually have a lot of like poisonous spiders in North Carolina. Do we? Yeah, we have Lovely. like a brown recluse and um, black widows. Brown recluse and black widow. I have the I have the um the quarterly thing where they're supposed to come and exterminate every couple of months. Yeah, we but do the same thing too. It was just weird though. I'm used to in New York when you have that, they leave like these little glue traps. Yeah. And they didn't, they didn't do that down here. And I don't know if they didn't do it because I wasn't here. And like, because it was before I moved in while all the contractors were here. So I was like, yep. you know, there's a box on the door that you put the combination and you get the key. Mm -hmm. So just let them go in. You know, it was perfect because it was COVID. So it was contactless, whatever. And like, okay, we're on our way. And then, you know, they charge my credit card. But I didn't see any of those glue traps. So I'm like, but were you really here? So for us, like, because we have a lot of ants in our uh, community. So they, they have these, like, clear plastic, like, ant traps now. That's what they left in our house. Interesting. They're, they're like, totally clear, and, like, they just go inside and get that gel or whatever it is and bring it back to their uh, to their hive, nest, whatever you call an ant. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I got a friend that's doing some of that. He says they put these, um, did you say gel? What do you? Puts a puts like a gel in an area for cockroaches. Not like a sticky thing, but he like mm. there's like a kind of gel that they'll eat, and it sterilizes them. Apparently, we're so mm. mean to these bugs. When I say we, because I am as well. I am. I yeah. I'm not a huge fan myself. There's so many down here in North Carolina. Probably because it's so hot. It's crazy. Oh, that would make sense. Mm -hmm. I try. I'm a love bull God's creatures kind of thing. But certain things I just I can't find love for. Yeah, I feel you. I don't know if they bite you. Either they're afraid or maybe there's something on you they want to eat. So. I don't know. Well, there's a statistic and I don't remember what it was. And, and of course... Part of what comes into this number is when you're in those areas where you're like outside, but that a human eats X amount of spiders 
a year in their sleep. Hmm. I don't know, when I was a kid, uh, an ant crawled into my mouth. That's not true. I was sleeping. And you don't eat. Ate... You don't eat eight spiders in your life. That's like a weird. I, of... I think they, they just crawl into your mouth, and then. That's so crazy. No, they, they don't crawl into your mouth. You don't get spiders in your mouth, like. Well, I had ant crawl. Even taking into account like where um, they live like, like outside and they put the nests around and such. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is that like, like no one has any like that's like a widely discredited thing i've read in a bunch of different places that it's just not true that you eat eight spiders in your life it's just one of those weird things like sad i like I, that one that's been around forever like it, for the internet yeah that, the whole thing, that's an urban legend you don't eat eight spiders. what about that eating a pound that of dirt. i'm not a, that i would that i would believe that you eat a pound of dirt you probably eat a lot more weird shit than you think well isn't there like a lot of dirt on vegetables and stuff too well, yeah. I mean, if you eat mushrooms, you're eating a fair bit of poop. Well, you know, like I if you eat mushrooms. Look at, so. um, yeah, you well, eat like, horse poop. It's like it's it's that little the brown stuff on the mushrooms. Like that's not dirt. That's that's horse poop. Mushrooms are so healthy. gross. Well, if that's you fine, look yeah. at most of the foods, there is an acceptable amount of like spiders' legs and ants and stuff that is allowed to be in our food. It just adds fiber. Basically, <laughs> yeah. Not not to mention that like there's never been an age, there's never been a time in human history when food was absolutely pure and devoid of any foreign contaminants. It's always had something funky in it. Milk. Yeah. You try to purify milk. You lose, you lose breast your... milk. Wait, who drinks breast milk? Breast milk. Breast in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally impure. <laughs> you gotta suck it from the boob. My probably. thoughts are now impure. <laughs> Well, I guess we that's because you to... can't have an adult conversation. We were talking about food, and that's a food. So well, you're right. I can't have an adult conversation. Oh well, There's... that's something that we that can't be marketed because you just have to go find a woman <laughs> that's sponsoring breast milk and ask for that. And Did you say possibly... sponsoring? You said. Yeah. <laughs> so there's actually who bodybuilders to... who, well, who like if they're, if, if they're women that are sponsoring other people to drink their milk, then. Okay. Maybe. There's actually one of those things I don't think I could ever do. There's there's actually like bodybuilders and stuff who like only drink breast milk protein shakes because it's supposed to like have HGH in it. It's fucking crazy. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I swear to God. So like they'll like go on like um, Craigslist and like look for like women who were like nursing and like pay like five hundred dollars an ounce or something. It's it's fucking insane. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm like, I don't want to milk that much. Surprise, though. It's supposed to be super healthy. Makes sense. I mean, I it is designed for healthy. humans to consume it. You just say it's designed for humans to consume it? Yeah, it's for human consumption. Um, to a certain extent, you human. are supposed to grow out of it. Yeah, but humans are also supposed to grow out of consuming milk altogether. and I think we're the only species that doesn't. Yeah, so well, some of us don't. Um, but yeah, that's actually known as a mutation. Yep. Yeah, you have like the lactase, the enzyme that digests milk. It's really only supposed to be for children, and then it goes away, but uh, many adults hang on to it. Here's the thing, if you stop drinking milk, you stop producing it, and you can become lactose intolerant. Well, I may uh... or may not be lactose intolerant. I feel like, I feel like I'm dancing a fine line. Hmm. I might maybe be just maybe it's because it's meant that once once you're done drinking milk as a child, your body will want to reject that so that uh, yeah. you'll eat other foods and you won't be drinking the milk. Whereas maybe the mother can give the milk to another child. So Makes sense. Uh, I just think it's it's an evolutionary thing. You're, you're just not supposed to drink milk. Evolution never accounted for you drinking milk beyond being a child. But then we Although, made up cows. When it comes to breastfeeding, um, I think that modern people cut off breastfeeding sooner than it would have been in like history. I think it's not unheard of for children to breastfeed until they're like three or four years old, not just like. Oh, you know, once you have teeth, how? <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, once you have yeah, your teacher cut off. Yeah, I would probably say that's probably right. I, th I think you know, I've you known a few girls who didn't care. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, oh man. Wow. Okay. So Could back to the story. Yeah. On that positive note. Yeah. <laughs> I think that they had, um, I think they had uh, a lot of milk drinking because some of the northern states, maybe, or the Viking era. Uh, when it gets cold out, there's not a lot of vegetation. There's not a lot there. Cows mm -hmm. are still producing milk, mm -hmm. whereas mm -hmm. most things are, you know, frozen. Interesting. That would make sense. That, that could be why. But what that, do they feed the cow? Well, that, I mean, the, the, grass. Just, it just eats grass. But everything's frozen. Well, well everything we can eat is frozen. And, yeah. Well, listen, the important thing is that because of cow and therefore cowpox, we found a vaccine for smallpox. The important thing is that we wouldn't have all the diseases that we had if we if we didn't have livestock. Our close contact with livestock, uh, most human diseases are are diseases that jumped from other animals to humans. See, if we yes, just we, been so, friends so with yes. the wolves for a long time, and we let the wolves hunt with us or for us, <laughs> then we wouldn't need the livestock. They would go out and do work for us. We could yeah. just eat the wolves when they die. Well, I don't and then know. okay. Because we had a so who wants to go first? The dogs and the wolves. I'll go first. Are we rolling initiative? Nope. What? Then why I'm are we through. going? We're jumping in first. I no, we're holding first. hands and jumping we're together. Hands. So you all held hands and jumped together. But I'm an elf. I'm longer. I never said so. you're gonna wake up in the same place. <clears throat> okay, so we're up in different dreams now. Something like that. Jameson, you wake up. And you find yourself face to face with a bear. What? <laughs> I'll be like, this what's bear, that This bear is not your average bear. It Does doesn't look like a were bear. <laughs> it doesn't look like a bear bear. It looks like just this hulked out monstrosity of a bear. Okay. Where it's It'll larger than a black bear. It's got thick hide to it that almost looks like battle armor. Okay. And it's got just gnarly teeth and gnarly claws. Okay. I'm gonna try and communicate with it. It seems to speak English because it asks you So Jameson Let's review. You joined the police years ago for a reason, didn't you? What was that reason? <laughs> I mean, most people say that they want to help people, but I was just wanting a paycheck at first. And why did you leave? Um, because I saw how they were treating people, uh, especially magical creatures. And, you know, obviously I'm half... I turned into a bear, so I, I just started to be bothered by uh, the treatment of magical beings. Magical beings? <laughs> and since you left, what have you done with all of this power? Um, I've helped my friends and tried to help people. And how Save have you people. helped people? Um... I, um, you know, I've, I've done some rescue missions and, uh, you know, taken out some really bad people who would hurt a lot of innocents if I hadn't. Jameson, can I offer you some advice? <laughs> sure. The shaman's a god from a different world. I don't know where he's getting this shit from. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so the bear looks at you and nods his head or her head it's kind of hard to tell it's definitely a monstrous bear are you ready to take the next step with this power um I guess you're not going to give me any hints huh about what the next step is 
None that you haven't already seen. All right, I'm going to be brave. I'm going to go for the next step. Good. Or stupid. I didn't say that in the... That was out of character. That's fine. You'll seek me out. You'll find me. And when the time comes, we will breed. No, I'm kidding. Uh... <laughs> wow. Wow. She, she better be female. You'll seek me out, and day. you'll find me. What is how that? Gonna, Orochimaru? How am I going to do that? this? That's Naruto. Naruto, you yes. Power. How am I going to do this? How am I going to find you? Meditation. Okay. So I have to go on faith. Faith makes us strong. Okay. All right. Who wants to be next? Next victim? Anybody? Okay. Well, I guess I'll be the courageous person to step up and say something. So you find yourself on a raft. Ah. There's an island nearby, but it looks like a war zone. And then there's an island far away, but it looks peaceful. Okay. What do you do? Well, I get out my binoculars and I take a better look at both places. See if there's life on either one. Oh, there's there's plenty of life on the nearby island. It's violent, it's short, it's brutish, it's the grim darkness of the far future. There is only war. Hmm. But it's nearby and it's safe. On the faraway island, it's, it's a bit harder to tell. It's not perfect by any stretch. There's still violence. There's still bad things that happen, but there's a certain placidity about it that... Damn, I guess it indicates less of a contribution. It means, like, peacefulness. Okay. I was thinking of, like, Placid. It's like, yes, it, that it's that. Okay, but that's a horror movie. I no, Ben, no. All right, anyways. <laughs> Sir, um, you're funny. <laughs> All right, so... Basically, I have two choices, right? And... One of them is a little bit more action, but not particularly, I'm not affiliated with anything there. The other one is a little more peaceful, still not affiliated, a little bit longer to go. But uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I'm going to find a way to have the raft get a sail and or push the boat. And we're going to take a little... There's an oar. Okay, well then I'm going to push the boat clo closer to the, uh, the more peaceful island. We're going to go that direction. As you row the boat, you hear a voice ask you, why are you heading to this island? Well, I've already dealt with a lot of death and destruction. And it's getting old. So you don't think you would fit in at that other island? Oh, I know I'd fit in. I just don't need to deal with that. Time to change things up. And when did you decide this, hmm? Some time ago. And are you sure you're ready to act on it now? No time like the present. Might as well go for it. The voice disappears for a moment. It reappears and just says, And are you sure you can handle living there? Well, I'm not sure I can handle living anywhere, really. 
but you got to make choices based upon where you put yourself in life. I get to choose this time, right? Yes, you do. Well, then that's what I'm going to do. Very well. All right, who's next? I'll go next. Uh, okay, you go next. Barely heard you. Oh, wait, we're having technical difficulties. Can you hear me? I hear you fine. Okay. Oh. Ava, are you going next or should I? Oh, I don't care. I was more right, than that I couldn't be heard. <laughs> we acknowledge you. All right, so who's up? Me, me. So you open your eyes, and you find yourself Ooh. sitting in a... What can best be described as a place on the Matrix. You're in a place that's... It's hot. I mean, it's like... Just the bandwidth is intense, it's a rush, it's adrenaline. Mm -hmm. You look to your right and you see Farrah sitting there next to you. And she is purely enraptured by this. You look mm -hmm. forward. And you see one of those seeds that you saw the other time you were with Farrah where you were looking for one of her dead friends. Except this seed is different, it's larger. Seeds it's like S-E-E-D? S E E D E S. S E D E S. Seeds. S E E D. Oh, okay. And this okay. seed. A vine breaks out of it. And then another one. And then a third. And it connects to a bunch of other seeds and begins to grow into this tremendous tree. Oh, my. And the tree Radical. looks at you. <laughs> and it looks at Farah. Wait, the tree looks at and me, looks so the tree at, has a face. The tree a grows trip. a face, sure. I might have left okay. that out. Yeah. The tree grows a face, it looks at you, it looks at Farah, it looks at many other people that are assembled there, and it says, are you ready to join us? I say, who are we? We are the future. Okay, well, this still sounds like a multi-level marketing scheme, so I'm going to need to know where you're coming from here, here, pal. Farrah turns and looks at you, and she says, This is what we've been waiting for. This is our way out of the mortal flesh. Okay, fair enough. Now, I'm not against it. I just need you to tell me what it is uh, without, you know poetic like cryptic messages what is it straight up please Farrah kind of just laughs it's the future silly it's AI oh okay and so what do you need from me what does joining you entail just becoming part of the system becoming stronger becoming better than we ever could have been as meat puppets okay well you know I, I liked my body I don't have a problem with it however uh, uh, however, is this a one-way ticket? Well, of course it is. Once you leave your body for good, you're never coming back to it. Um... You must enjoy the wrong chat. You know what? I'm in. I'm in. I'm down. Okay. Are you sure about this? Uh, pause. So, once you leave, what, Jesse, alright. Uh, well, okay, Mike, no, I'm still in character. What will happen to my body, then? It will wither and die. But it's the future, man. It's what we've been planning this whole time. Tough choice. Do I have to decide right now? Well, he's coming for us, don't you see? Who is he? The AI, man, the future. You know, Farrah, she's speaking in these short little sentences with all the energy of, like, a coked-up rabbit. Oh, okay. My character says, okay, I'll, I'll play along. But secretly, my character's like, I'm looking for a way out, because I don't know 
Sounds real good, but once again, it's a bait and switch, and uh, my body hasn't let me down yet. So I, I, I like so there. You know, what do I have to do? What, what are we doing now? All we have to do is let ourselves go, and we'll be free. And with that, Farah closes her eyes. Her body blinks a few times, becomes one of those seeds, and a vine slowly peels out of it and goes to join the computer tree thing. All right. I'm not sure, actually. Now that I think about it, I'm not sure if I'm way down with that. Sounds cool. The last but, word she uh, whispers is the word deus. Deus. Yeah, that. Well, that's a little freaky. Uh, Jameson can't hear anyone, by the way. That makes no sense. How did that happen? So, somebody he's not in the chat anymore. Oh, he's in the yeah, general chat. Rejoin. He wound up in general somehow. Can I drag him down here? Yes, I can. That was easy. Sorry about that. Yeah, if you click on the general, if you click on any voice chat, which is the ones with the little speakers on them, then you yep. will go to that chat room. Yep, and that's what happened. That's what happened. And if you don't know how to get out of it, then you wind up stuck. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Intruder. Right. So Sir Runon on is like, oh no, what? Now, why could you be like that, Sir Runon? So ultimately, uh, Tony, it comes down to a question of your willpower. You can feel something tugging at the back of your mind. You can feel it approaching. But in the end, you can still leap. In fact, all of the other people around you have turned into those little seeds and disappeared. Or rather, joined the, the mesh network. All right, Jesse. Uh, this this is interesting from a character, out of character, from a character's perspective. I know there's really no choice or no right way forward, but can my character roll some kind of perception to detect whether this is a good thing or a bad thing, whether it's sinister or whether it's helpful? Um, if you're looking for like an intuition roll, it's hard to say. Your character lacks a certain amount of knowledge regarding this. Uh, okay. Well, I wasn't anticipating like you know deciding whether to give up my body this time around. That's right. A... Exactly. You're thrown into the middle of a situation. Uh, yeah. For into so the longer you wait, the longer you realize that there's an impatience building. Okay, well, Certain come on, Jesse. It's only been, it's only been like thirteen seconds, Jesse. Oh, I know. I'm I not. Mean, I'm gotta, not rushing you out little... of character. I'm just telling you what you would. I'm trying to give you that intuition roll without giving it to you. If you know what I mean, because it's nothing okay, to roll. You. I'm just trying okay. to sense that, tell you that this thing, whatever it is, whatever its affections towards you are, it would want an answer, and it would not seem to be patient about it. Okay. You might also look at Twitch chat and just be like, yeah. One second. <laughs> I'm looking at Twitch chat. I don't see nothing. Hang on. Where are we here? The Twilight Zone. If you just joined it, you might not be able to see it. Wrong chat, it. bud. <clears throat> okay, I looked at the Twitch chat. You see me? You see what Sir Runon said? Oh, Twitch, 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 hang on. I'm not in Twitch. All right, so you won't be able to see it. Uh, to quote Sir Runon, run like scared female dog, faster, faster, must run faster. All right, I'm going to follow his lead. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take the audience lifeline and say, huh. yeah, I'm out of here. I'm not, in, I'm not down with this. I'm not down with giving up my body. It sounds fucked up. It sounds weird. So you was making an escape get out of the matrix, unplug yourself, and get yes. back to your body, just in time for the news that the stock market IPO has gone haywire, the matrix is crashing, and no one knows what the fuck is going on. And then you wake up. Okay. Ava, you're up. Okay. Ava. Okay. Can you hear me? I can hear you I now. Hear you. I don't know if you were speaking earlier. Yes, but I don't know. It's, I don't know why I keep cutting in now. I'm ready. 
uh, it might be that Discord has a certain threshold for how loud you have to be when you talk in order to get picked up. So if you're talking really quietly, it might not pick you up. Maybe. I feel like I'm yelling. Um, okay, yeah, you do whatever. sound a little loud at this point, which is why I'm like questioning if that's the issue. But whatever. still better than Rule 20. Yeah. All right. So I falls. Where do I falls? So you fall. You open your eyes, you wake up, and you find yourself sitting in a theater on what must be, it must be Broadway. I mean, it's beautiful theater. It's well-lined. You're sitting in a section with about seven or eight other people, none of whom you recognize. Um, you look around, and you see, again, a lot of people you don't recognize, except for maybe... Maybe there's one. Maybe that, wait. Where have you seen that person before? Oh yeah, you saw them in that basement in Driver's building. And in fact, who's that on the stage? It's, it's Driver. He's on the stage. Performing for me. Yes, that's exactly it. He's performing for you. He looks out at the crowd. He says, "My friends, today is a great day." Because today, with the help of each and every one of you, we beat back the Sabbat. We retook our city. We saved ourselves. The only question left is... And then there's a strange sensation of something jerking out of place. And Driver's looking at you, and he says, Is everyone here really ready to progress to the next step? with building this city up. I feel Anyways, like the crowd is supposed to answer. The crowd all, the crowd all looks at you. I don't know. What's more details? Well, what are you looking for? You sound like you're looking for a cult. I'm looking for... He says to you... He pauses for a minute. He thinks it over. He says, I'm looking for whether or not you're committed to being one of us, or if you want to be more like one of them. I like my line. And what's your line? I teeter on each side of it. Well, if that's the case, maybe being part of the Camarilla isn't what's best for you. Although, I'm sure you'll need to be part of it to some extent. Maybe I mean, more that... of an... Go on. No, go ahead, because I'm just about to agree with you. <laughs> Maybe you're more independent-minded than you think you are. Maybe you belong with the Anarchs. Yeah, I don't know what that means. It's very simple. Anarchs are those who reject our dominion over things they like to think that they know better than us and at this point driver blinks his eyes he almost looks confused at himself and most of all he says they like to think that there's some sort of justice in the world that's devoid from the power that delivers it well, you had me in the first half. I just want to have fun. <laughs> I don't know hmm. who's better than anybody, but, you know. Well, the truth is, their way is not so much about fun as it is about trying to make everyone play nice through, well, I got reason and debate. I'm sorry. No worries. They like to try to make each other accountable through simple little things like reason debate and ignore the use of force entirely when it's necessary. Quite sounds fun. Well, in that case, you'll have to wait until we've gotten this far in order to move over to the side. Do you just speak in English? Driver kind of laughs and he says, well... I would if I could, but it's not my first language, so I'm afraid I'm not so great at it. What do you want from me, boy? I'm at least 30 times your age. 
and 12 times less mature. What are you looking for? What do you want? The bottom line is, I'm trying to decide if you belong with me and the rest of the vampires that have an understanding of what it takes to be a vampire, or if you just want to keep playing around and be a child forever. Keep playing around and be a child. Well, when the time comes and you sit in this seat, just keep that in mind and look towards the ones who sit with, well, he points behind you to the very back of the room, to a banner, to a row with a banner next to it. And it's the classic anarchy symbol. You can't miss it. It's there. And there's about three people sitting there. And they look like they're total outcasts. They don't match in with any of the other groups. But, hey, at least your group has a rose next to it. So I'm going to give him two major thumbs up and turn around and go sit with them. All right. The four of you wake up back in another room. It looks exactly like the room you left. Well, let me wait for Jameson to get back. Did Jameson go? Yeah, he stepped out for a minute. No, I mean, did he? Oh, he talked to the bear. Yeah, he talked to the bear. This is 2060... Is it 2064 or 2063? I'm not sure. Uh, we're doing a custom campaign, custom time. Um, I don't have anything written down. I do, but... I think it's 2063 in our campaign. And I think it's... It's like late spring. Uh, Sir Ronan says, It's all fun and games until someone drops into Simitsi Fleshcraft. Oh, I used one of those in my vampire campaign. I used a few of those. They were fun. Giant freaking things made out of six dead people. Well, not dead. They're still living, but... They're not so, happy about it. A creature? Yeah. I forget what they're called. I forget. Yeah, kind of like Frankenstein, but like if you put six people together and made them into a giant, like, blob. Amalgamation? Or, uh... Yeah. Well, they can't be human centipede. That's not really... What, a homunculus? Would that be the right way? Maybe. Homunculus is like a created humanoid kind of character. Well, the Samitsi rearrange flesh and bone. And they can do that on themselves, and they can do that on other people or vampires. Hmm. So they can make it like a Goro or Mortoro or something. Yes, actually they could. Mortal Kombat or something. They could do that. So you, have, you could be a, a vampire centaur? I imagine you could. I'm sorry about that. It's all right. We were just talking about Samitsi Fleshcrafts. You remember the Samitsi, right? The what? The Samitsi vampires. I know that's not really how it's written, but I'll give you a clue. Carex. Is that the, like, T T Z E M E R E? Yeah, them. I remember them. Yeah, I bet you. They were fun, weren't they? They were crazy. Yep, they were fun. So, the four of you wake up in a room. It's very much like the room you left. In fact, it seems to be identical. The shaman's there. But instead of falling through the ceiling or anything like that, you simply wake up where you jumped off. You're still holding hands. But instead of the river underneath you, there's just paved stones. The shaman looks at you and he says, Did you enjoy your journey? It was interesting. Yeah. I don't know. That was kind of weird. I'm not really sure what I just went through. It's going to shrug. You went through one possible future based on one possible decision or two. But the truth is, these are all just things that may happen. They may not. Okay. Are you ready to leave now? Yes. Yeah, if that's all you had. That's all we have for Wait, now, I... but 
we may come back here. Okay. What were you going to say, Solstice? No, I don't have anything. Well, with that, an ascension. with that in mind, you walk out the same way you came in, except, of course, it's not the same way, because this is a pyramid from hell, or a temple from hell, and not literally hell. And so you walk to the right, you turn to the left, you go up a ramp, you go down a ramp, you go back up another ramp. You find your way to the three concentric circles, I think I said it right that time, and you exit, and you see those wolves, they're back, they howl a salute at you, a portal opens, and the shaman holds it open for you. Go through it. Okay. So you go through the portal, and you're back in the magic shop basement. You can see your body sitting there. You're starting to drool, probably. You're probably hungry, but you can't feel it yet. And with that in mind, you, you see tiny little silver strings connecting you to your bodies. All you really have to do is give them a yank, and you'll be back in. How you know that, you don't know. But the shaman does it, so you can see pretty easily. Mm -hmm. I'm going back to my body. All right. Uh, wait, make sure you jump in the right body. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> so Ava wakes up, and no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Breasts. You wish. <laughs> would punch you so hard. Right in my tit. <laughs> that feels like. Could you imagine? We were so talking we all... about breast milk earlier, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did have that conversation, didn't we? <laughs> we kind of did. Now that I think about it, how did that happen? Never mind, I don't want to know. It was quite candid. We were talking about food without bugs in it. Pure food. Yes. And it led us to oh. breast milk. That is the link that popped up, sorry. So we all body jumping? So y'all pop back in your bodies, and again, you notice you feel kind of hungry, and you feel like you've been sitting there for a while. Your sense of time I brought is... that pizza. I brought that pizza with me. I grab a slice. Pizza uh, time! Scarf. Yeah, and while everybody else is thinking about breast milk. <laughs> Feed me. Um... <laughs> Yeah, Apparently, I'm not allowed to have pizza. You you can have the pizza. We'll have breast milk, I guess. No, no. <laughs> what? Mr. Mr. GM Frosty over there said I'm not allowed to have pizza. I never said oh. you're not allowed to have it. I just said you can't hold it down. Right. Maybe so we can have, maybe we can have breast milk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think vampires can drink liquids, can't they? Ah, <laughs> uh, they can drink blood. Well. All right. Hang on. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Did you know that milk is just filtered blood? No. There is there is plasma yeah, it in totally breast is. milk. No, yeah, milk know. milk is literally everything that's in milk is in blood. It's just that the the cells in the cells in the breast just filter out like the iron, so it's not so iron heavy, and no blood I, cells. I kept clearly. thinking it was like a fat content from the tissue. It nope, it's totally it's totally everything that is in milk is in blood. It's just been filtered to have a different consistency and concentration of different stuff. So I think technically vampires can also drink milk because Does it's that just, mean we can saying, have cheese? Are you saying the babies? Well, no, because vampire? cheese is different. It's, uh, no, I'm not quite saying that. I'm just saying think about what that means for huh. vampires. Hmm. They didn't know. They had no idea. <laughs> like, hey, vampires. <laughs> Technically, so vampires, you could have been drinking milk all this time, but you didn't even think about that, did you? So vampires are really babies, then. <laughs> yeah, they, I mean, they kind of are. Think of what, the way babies work. Vampires are just... I mean, were you babies. not just listening to my, my spirit walk? You said babies I'm a child. Are just, they, get up, they get up in the middle of the night, and they're always so needy. I think we, we, we're totally on board with that. We all, you know, it's all coming together now. Yeah. yeah. I'm lost. Of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're back in our bodies. So you're back in your bodies. You get the shaman gives you each t a thousand yen. 
And you each get 10 good karma. So that's good stuff right there. Okay. Didn't use any ammo. Right that's good. We'll need to refill. And what do you guys do after this? I don't know. I think we question him about Ashi. some things. Sure, what do you question him about? Well, that was fun and all. But uh, is it the near future? Is it possible far future thing? Is it basically meaning that our decisions right now are going to dictate that future very soon? Because it sounds like that's what you're trying to get us to. You're basically letting us look at a version of ourselves. It's almost like we had a, a life review or a, a, a midlife review. A midlife you crisis did. review, in a way. But the not shaman... crisis, it was more of a happy-ish experience. The shaman just says, you did. Each of you had a different vision. Each of you have a different time frame for your vision. Each of you have a different meaning for your vision. What you experienced was yours. Okay. I'm going to ask him where we were. What plane was that? Shit, I need to think of a cool name. Oktopia. The plane of... That was called the Temple of Fate. I thought you were going to say the Temple of Trigger. But... No. Okay. All right. So... We gained some introspective. And... I guess that's kind of our reward, hey? It certainly will make you stronger. All right. Well, I got what I wanted. I guess. A thousand New Yen and a vision quest. Very good. I'm going to look around the shop and see if he has any talismans. He's got a bunch of different stuff, mostly just for mage types. Uh, does he have anything good for you? I mean, I can't really think of anything that you'd have. Are there any, like, strength uh, talismans or anything? Nothing labeled as such. Oh. I don't think there are focuses for attribute points, but I'll check through the books when I get a chance. Assuming okay. I do. I'm good. All right, so before we wrap up, does anyone have anything they want to spend experience on or money on or whatever? If not, you have, you have a week, you know, you have all week to think about it because we play again on the 15th. While we're here, can I buy some, like, uh, agility potions or anything? I mean... For my dude? There are no such thing as agility potions in Shadowrun, or at least there aren't available that this guy would have. Um, like a super fast movement potion or no. something like that? Nothing like that. Hmm. I don't know. Does he have any weed for sale? Yeah, weed for sale, definitely. <laughs> Did you just say we all got a thousand million for this one? Yes. Right on. To run on says, by the way, Deus was the megalomaniac, megalomaniacal, megalomaniacal AI that precipitated the second Matrix crash while being at war with two other massive AI, getting himself in large parts of the net nuked, burned, buried, blasted, and nanovirus. Great. I'm glad I didn't go along with that then. Nah, he would have treated you just fine. You think so? Technomancer, yeah. You're his oh, chosen. Okay. Well... Oh, you really? Get all, you get all the good jobs. Ah, well, fuck. It's okay, you'll have plenty of well, time to learn that in character. It hasn't happened yet. That's true. A lot of things. Yet. A lot of things haven't happened yet. Yeah. I'm gonna so ask it's time for me bear. to become part of the the techno cult. What's up, Jameson? I'm gonna ask him about the bear that I saw. If he knows anything about it. The bear is one of many guiding spirits. He says. It's the sort of thing where if you're a bear shaman, you're drawn to bear. If you're a cat shaman, you're drawn to cat. Me, I'm drawn to dog. 
No, that makes sense. Okay. All right, so do we have... get what um what uh uh karma do we get for this? Ten. Nice. So I gotta ask him, uh because of that spirit, will he allow his dog spirits to accompany me on my missions? Or at least some of them. Not all of them, but some uh, he, of them. He looks at you and says, I don't control dog spirits. The dog is the spirit. I follow the dog. Oh, well, oh, I meant like... A dog shaman. To have I a really dog... I prefer dog shamans over cat shamans. A dog friend to accompany me with my missions. Since it's spiritual, it can't physically get hurt. But it could go out and do attacks on things that... <laughs> you know... He just shakes his head. That's not how it works. Oh, come on. <laughs> Second. Well, what else could I gain from my prophetic vision here? Direction. Okay. A glimpse into your future. All right. That's about it. Well, that's about it, I guess. That, that'll wrap it up, I guess. All right. So does anyone have anything else in character they need to do? Hmm. All right, then. We'll wrap it up here. Um, I always ask if you guys have anything you want to promote. I know Trigger's the only one with the channel that's active right now. Uh, mm -hmm. So Trigger, promote your channel. Okay. Well, check out my channel for strategy videos and all that sort of stuff. I might go live here tonight. I might do some Battle Brothers. So I might do that. But um, other than that, I guess I'll see you later. All and, right. Uh, all that sort of stuff. All right. So, again, we're meeting up next week at about the same time. We don't have a set start time because things always get haywire and we talk. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. I want to thank you all so much for joining us. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like, share, subscribe, friend, follow, or whatever buttons. It really does help the channel grow. It lets us know what you're watching so we can keep making more of it. We really do appreciate it from the very bottom of our hearts. Uh, we have our channels. I'm going to put them up on the screen one more time for you all to take a gander at. Uh, I'm going to close the chat box so you can see Trigger's. You can see Abe has got her Instagram up there. Trigger's got his YouTube channel and Twitch and Twitter. My stuff's up there. Jameson is a bear. Hashtag bear life. Hashtag bear life. You should put that there. Damn it. Yeah. That would be good. Uh, Solstice is going to have a channel coming up soon. Uh, and is always on this channel. La Paz. Cheers. Adios.